Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're actually going to be looking at Alethium FPGA miners. So for the longest time we've had FPGAs come onto Radiant, we've had it on Kyloclone, we've had it on Ironfish, but we haven't actually seen any widespread or at least public FPGAs for the Alethium network. Now the reason that I'm doing this video is because we've done some solo mining on Alethium and I was just talking about maybe looking into FPGA mining and we kind of found some stuff around it which we'll cover in this video however not as much as i'd like to see because alethium is one of those coins which i would have thought would see fpga soon when we look at the actual coin here if we click on the top on alethium right here we can see that the algorithm is actually blake 3. so ironfish is also blake 3 but i believe it's edited blake 3 but it wouldn't be too hard i hope to actually have an FPGA miner that was kind of modded on from the Ironfish FPGA, I guess, coding. I'm not really a developer, so I don't know too much about that. However, I don't think it would be too far of a stretch to say that it would be easy to actually make an FPGA for Lake 3 Alethium. Now, I just want to go back to the calculator because it has some figures there which we'll look at in a minute. However, we actually did some searching around and we found a picture from Wolf Zero. He's a FPGA enthusiast, I guess. He produces a lot of bitstreams for different coins, and he's been in the space for a while. However, he was actually getting 3.6 gigahash at 265 watts at the wall. This was on, as you can see there, AC1100 mining Alephium. So this is one of these cards here, $2,300, but a lot of FPGA miners use these, plus they'll use stuff like the forest kitten or something like that. These are a bit more expensive than those forest kittens. However, they are pretty good at mining and a lot of bit streams come out for these actual cards. Normally, the first cards to be on the list are the C1100s. So as we can see, we're getting 3.6 giga hash at 265 watts at the wall. If you put it into a mining calculator right now, you're actually in the minus by around 15 cents. This is at 10 cents per kilowatt hour. However, we've had a look around and we've also managed to bring up this Alephium GitHub for FPGA miner, but it also did say that this project did not achieve the quality we expect and is not under development anymore. Please don't use this as reference implementation for an FPGA miner. So also in this tweet that Wolf Zero put out, he did say that the Alethium bitstream would be coming soon in the Discord. However, I haven't actually seen that anywhere in the Discord. If people could link me, if I'm getting anything wrong here, we did have a look into it, but there wasn't anything around there that was associated with Alethium, probably because it is unprofitable to mine it on an FPGA right now. And you would think that a lot of people would try to at least create a very efficient FPGA miner because it could be very lucrative if you create the right one. And you can now obviously get fees off of that. However, when we actually click on Alephium, which is something that I haven't actually looked too much into, but the superscalar is actually listed in the benchmarks part of the hash rate NO. So we had a look around. Obviously, it's 46 giga hash. If we click on it, it says 46 giga hash at 1800 watts. So if we put that into a calculator, we can see here that that is actually in the profitable range. It did take a while for me to actually find it. The only information I could ever find on the Superscalar K10 and plus Alephium was this website, which is the actual Superscalar.io website. The other ones that are selling it don't specify the algorithms which it can mine on. Now, I don't actually have one of these and I'm trying to be in contact with people that do have one to see if they've ever mined Alephium on it. However, if we look at the hash rates here, we can actually see it's 54 giga hash at 1,973 watts. So the profits right now in revenue would be $5.71, but with the superscalar numbers, it'd be 52, and I believe it's like 1,970, and the revenue would be $7 at that point. So if anyone does have one of these superscalar K10s and they can confirm that they've mined the lithium on it, I don't know how they got the actual bitstream for that, and I don't know what FPGA miners are actually in the actual box of the Superscalar K10, 
that is another thing that I'd like to find out. However, I just wanted to make this video quickly just talking about Alethium FPGAs and if we're ever going to see them in the future. As I said, Ironfish is moving back to GPU mining, so we could see more developers for FPGAs move over to Alethium, focus on that. I know there are more profitable coins out there if we look down the list. There are certain coins like Nexa, and I believe Dynex is going to at least have the implementation of FPGAs because it was actually started the network on FPGAs for testing. So there's obviously some implementation there, but we haven't seen FPGAs or any A6 coming out for Nexa and A6 for Radiant as well. That might be coming out soon. So we'll keep our eye out for that. We know that Ironfish is actually reverting back and there's a LOL Miner developer which presented a new algorithm, which would be a ETHash Blake 3 merge which was edited i know that they use eth hash blake 3 for ethereum right now however there's one that's going to be edited that the lol miner developer proposed that we could use for ironfish so apart from that let me know your thoughts on the alethium fpj miners i would like to see some in the future however i don't think that it's going to be very profitable at least to produce one until the price of alethium goes up a bit more because it did take a dip off if we look on the prices so we can see all time it probably would have been very profitable to mine at that time or at least down to here however it's actually gone down from there so probably won't see alethium fpga miners until the price actually takes upwards and then we can get more efficient fpga miners which will become more profitable so hopefully you enjoyed if you did please like the video and subscribe for more content like this